close your eyes and imagine this. It is Sunday morning and you just woke up. The sun is shining, it is warm outside and you walk outside of your room. You smell this aroma of coziness, warmth and home. The smell of banica. Здравейте! Today we're going to talk about banica. This is one of the symbols of Bulgaria and I would say that there is no family that doesn't cook banica. Today first I'm going to explain uh, what exactly is and then, well, we're going to put it into practice and we will cook it together. Let's take the sheets from the Italian lasagna. For the banica, they're much, much thinner, just like, for example, the baklava or for yufka. And then the filament is usually with cottage cheese or white cheese from cow or goat and then uh, with eggs and Bulgarian yogurt. Since this is the most traditional recipes and ingredients for banica, today I'm going to share with you four facts that you might be interested to know about the banica. Fact number one. There is no information about how or when the recipe came to exist, but I would say that this is only a sign of how ancient banica is. Fact number two. There are different types of banica based on different factors. The first one is based on the sheets. It, they can be either pulled or ground. Based on the way how you lay the sheets, they're also spiral or laid layer by layer. And then finally, there are also uh, different types of salty and sweet banica recipes. Fact number three. We prepare banica for many winter holidays. For example, for the Christmas Eve, we prepare uh, banica with vegetables and fruits since it's the last day of the Lent. For the Christmas Eve, now we can also include the eggs and the yogurt in the recipe, but also their families that prepare it with pumpkin. And finally, for the new year, we have the traditional banica with yogurt, cheese and eggs, but we actually add little pieces of cornel tree which are unique and symbolize your luck for the next year. For example, you can be rich in health or luck, or maybe you'll buy a new car, you'll reach a new travel destination, or you can get a coin from the piece uh, in the banita, and that means that the money is on its way to you. Fact number four, Banica is quite famous uh, among the Balkan countries. So actually you can find similar recipes and uh, pastries uh, in Turkey as baklava and burek and in Greece like uh, plakeda and mastopia. Well, since now that you have the knowledge about Banica, let's bring the Bulgarian idyll in your home. As we are in the kitchen already, let's get started. Uh, for today's banita, uh, the ingredients are four eggs. I have size L, but if you have M or smaller, maybe you can uh, you add uh, one or two more. We have yogurt. Uh, also, a Greek one uh, works well. We have white cheese that also uh, can be cow or from a goat. We have sparkling water, sunflower, oil, and of course, the sheets for our banica. One um, tip I would give you when you're looking for the sheets for the banica, you can go uh, to the Turkish store or the one that is from the Arabic countries, maybe uh, even there is a Bulgarian store in your city, and look for sheets that are either for baklava, or for yufka, or specifically for baita. Let's start first with the filament. We're going to bring our eggs and mix them. Okay. 
then we add five big spoons of yogurt. This can be around half of uh, the package. And mix again. The consistency is becoming thicker, but with the sparkling water, it will be much, much better. Now we are adding at least 300 milliliters of sparkling water. More. We have some extra left if uh, we need to increase uh, the volume of the filament. And we mix, of course. Now it's time to turn on the oven. Put it on 220 degrees Celsius and uh, both on top and uh, at the bottom, rail tons. Since in the house where I live we have little ovens, I'm gonna prepare the banitza into two dishes, two plates. But of course for you, if you have a normal one, um, we can use uh, only one, bigger. Uh, first we start with the sunflower oil, because we don't want um, the pastry to, to get sticky to the plate, so we're going to put a little bit of oil. Make sure that you put on every side of the plate. As we are ready, now it's real action time. I will cut the the sheet so that is easier for me. So how do we start? We put two layers, then we put filament with sunflower oil, then we repeat with the two layers. This time uh, we put cheese, filament and oil and then we repeat until everything is over. Make sure it covers the whole plate and there are no empty spaces at the bottom. And we put Make sure you also cover the sides with the filament, otherwise there is a chance that it will become dry. Well, approximately if we have small plates, we're gonna need like, let's say, three spoons, but if you have a bigger, normal plate, of course, we can put five. And then we put a little bit of sunflower oil so that it becomes more juicy. And then we repeat again with two layers. And now we're going to put from the white cheese. 
what I really love is actually only smash it into little pieces. If they're bigger, you will, you will taste the cheese more. Then we put the film. When you are putting the layers, I can give you one advice. There is a chance that the sheets are going more to the corners, but try to put them to smash a little bit the dough uh, in the middle so that when you bake it, it doesn't become roasted. And at the end, you finish with a sheet. And what we're going to do now is the leftover from the filament, we'll put it on top so that the balance becomes golden. Put also a little bit of oil. Then you take a fork and have different holes. You go around within the sheet so that the filament covers everything and there is nothing left dry. It's ready and it's time for the oven. First thing uh, I would like to advise you is not to open the oven for at least the first 20 minutes and after this you can turn it around until it gets golden as you can see it right now. When you take it out put some drops of cold water on top so that it becomes very soft and cover it with a towel for at least 5 minutes. And at the end, what a better way than sharing Banitsa with your family. Enjoy!